I'm Kip Kellers. We're standing here in Stark City, Missouri. We uh, broke the world record this year with our soybeans at 160.6 bushels acre. The new stuff we tried this year all worked great. I, everything I used for stowers helped us work. I don't do the contest to break world records. I do the contest to learn, to see what I can go apply to all my normal production acres. What's well, important that everybody in the U.S. can do it, don't matter where you're at. I mean, you can be in the Gulf of Mexico or on a, in Canada. You've got to build roots. You've got to start out with that. That's the key to everything. So, you know, the bio forage really made them feeder roots, you know, really explode. I run around the countryside and tell people, you know, you got to change. You got to try something different on your farm and see what's going to work for you. On my farm, our two biggest challenges have been is our soybeans get too tall and we get white mold. So basically, I'd take some own medicine because uh, we'd kind of got stuck in this rut doing the same thing over and over and over. And, and I got to reading about some new stower products. And I thought, hey, I need to try that. So I got a hold of Stoller and they said, hey, we got a couple other things. Why don't you try some bio? forage and this and that. So what we did with the bioforge, we use that as a seed treatment, which we had massive roots. And the best part about the whole deal is it's very inexpensive. The most impressive thing I've seen all year long was, was we started nodulating at the uh, unifoliate stage, which is amazing because most soybeans won't ever start nodulating until you know they're up here, probably third trifolia. And then we came in there at about V2 and a half, and what we did, we burnt the top of the plants. And what we was trying to do was kill the main growing point. Basically, we desiccated these plants. I mean, there was, it was brown, <laughs> one end of the field that, it looked like we killed them. We came back and we hit them with the bio forge to help recover, and they recovered fast. I mean, we went back to growing, and so we continued to build those roots. So then we came in with the frame. We used the frame to also help control the white mold, and then, uh, to build that plant. And then the sugar mover, we use sugar mover on these a couple times on our soybeans. And what the sugar mover does, it moves the sugar up to the pods and helps set more pods, you know, retain those pods. So we was actually able to accomplish both our goals. We've shortened our beans up. Our beans are only about this tall this year and we don't have any white mold. We've got just as much not pods in the bottom of the half of the plant as we did the top half of the plant. So our branches, you know, is the size of your index finger, and then we have branches on branches. So each one of these branches is basically about like a normal soybean plant. And we had stalks out there, you know, the size of a corn stalk. And the only way you're gonna be able to accomplish that is with large, massive roots. You know, it goes back to that same deal. You're pulling 95% of your nutrients out of the top four inch soil profile. So the more feeder roots you can put there, the more that plant's got to take up the nutrients. And anytime you can build roots, you know, that's the big key to anything you're doing. So the bioforge helps build more roots. I mean, we got massive roots. We got nodulation this far out on the feeder roots and, our, and this deep down on the tap root. But the biggest things I feel like that we're putting on roots that helped us the most this year was by adding the bioforge in there. And I guarantee you, we picked up five to seven bushels just with that alone. I still think we make 200 bushels. We just got to tweak it a little bit. It all goes back to this change. You've got to be willing to change. Try new stuff. So next year, we're definitely going to be using Stower product because it helped us. But if you're not willing to try something new, you know, you're going to be left in the dust, basically.